you're going to have massive depression, meaning mental depression. You're going to have depression in the economy also. But you're going to have mental depression for people. You're going to have large numbers of suicides. Take a look at what happens in a really horrible recession or worse. So you're going to have tremendous suicides. President Trump uh, addressing an important issue yesterday, you know, quarantine, self-isolation, that can all increase depression, anxiety, and, of course, suicides. Fox 61's Aisha Bo spoke with a family therapist and has more. Right now, according to the crisis text line website, they say about 80% of the people who are texting them about the coronavirus report feeling anxious. Well, today I got a chance to speak with a family therapist who's also a board member for the Jordan Parco Foundation. It is a foundation founded by parents who lost their son to suicide. As families try to work with this new uh, work-life balance, which previously we were doing outside the home and inside the home, it, it's now all inside the home. But some of the same uh, practices and um, habits are really helpful. So what we need to do is make sure that we're attending to our need for connection. Right now, when you go on the foundation website, they have a program called Check In at Home, which is just different ways that folks can make sure they are practicing self care, as well as some coping mechanisms when it comes to dealing with social distancing. And it can be anything from journaling or video chatting to stay connected, or even picking up an old habit like puzzling. Any habits that have been soothing to you that you've sort of let go in the past, whether it's a, a good book or knitting or, you know, crossword puzzles or um, anything like that are great habits to revisit. And Venison says also find ways to do some physical activity by connecting with nature or just doing things around the home. Even if you're not particularly mobile, walk back and forth to your mailbox, go for a walk around your block. Mm -hmm. um, if you can't get out of your house, you know, make some kind of circuit uh, in your living room or your living area. And most importantly, Venison says, keep in mind, mental health professionals, they are still available for you right now. Just take a look at some of the hotlines and websites available. For example, the crisis text line. You can reach out to someone by texting 741-741 if you or someone is in need. And professionals say, remember, even if you yourself are doing okay, you want to make sure you're paying attention to the folks around you and try connecting with someone that you may notice may be struggling right now. For Fox 61 News, I'm Aisha Bo. And remember, you can text the word FAX to 860-527-6161 if you're looking for more information on any of these stories. That'll provide you with a link to the coronavirus section of fox61.com.